three very special senior emeritus professors who have made seminal contributions to the boron science for more than half a century or so, well, 60 years, 50 years, beyond <coughs> that. During their career in acad academia, we would re-miss this, the opportunity if we didn't recognize them at this meeting in Death Valley. They are alphabetically, I want to use this politics, you know, first and second and third, so I would rather call this the alphabetically. So that would save my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so first, Herbert C. Brown, Emeritus Professor. laureate from Purdue University to receive this special recognition award, which we would have done that long time ago, but we are sorry that somehow we missed this opportunity. This is the time. So Herb, if you can come over here, and I would be very happy to give this award to you. <laughs> I hope we shall see it up to you. And the second person who is William and Lipscomb Jr. Emeritus Professor and Nobel Laureate from Harvard University. Initially, I was confused with the Kentucky Colonel Sanders and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Colonel Lipscomb. So now I know the distinction. <laughs> <laughs> and the third person, Robert W. Perry, Emeritus Professor and Priestly Medalist from University of Utah, Salt Lake City. several volumes on these subjects with Bob Williams. And we have this, the carbocations and the continuum and the boron chemistry and so on. So several issues were published by John Wiley and so on. It's a great privilege to recognize this individual from local hydrocarbon research institute at USC. Uh, he is professor and a Nobel laureate, and who is George Ola. Now, George Ola is not here since uh, he couldn't come. I asked Bob Williams to accept this special recognition award on behalf of the recipient. Bob. Well, you never 
mistake me for Big George. <laughs> <laughs> He's only three or four inches taller. And he gave me a list of things he wanted me to tell you. One was, George wishes you a happy new year to all you boron chemists. He it sincerely intended to be here at this meeting. I know that because he also had reservations in Las Vegas for the following weekend. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had problems with George Olaf for, for decades. I tried to persuade him that carbon should be renamed Neoboron, <laughs> and he would have nothing of that. <laughs> George wanted me to thank David Schubert, Sheldon, and Marion Hosmain for his invitation. And in that vein, we've discussed this week a lot of anions and cations, but there are also norions. Nor <laughs> and in the bar the other night, Joe Bausch and I heard people discuss norion's first name is Zwitter. <laughs> it was Switter nor I, and he dropped the Switter. He thought it was ostentatious. <laughs> and, uh, you know, well, George is here in spirit, and he wishes you all a happy new year, 2002. And I'll, I'll take him this. I'm sure he'll appreciate it greatly. <laughs>